Welcome. This video will guide you through disassembly, repair, and reassembly of the Viking Pump High Speed Compact Internal Gear Pump. This series includes the following Viking Pump models. As always, consult the applicable technical service manual for important safety information before you begin. A copy of the latest revision can be found on our website at vikingpump.com. You may require the following tools for disassembly and repair. SAE wrenches, SAE Allen wrenches, SAE sockets, adjustable spanner wrench, internal and external snap ring pliers, a brass bar, and a soft-headed hammer. A complete listing of tools and part numbers can be found in the technical service manual. For newer pumps, seal kit and repair kit part numbers can be found on a hang tag on the pump. For older pumps, or if the tag has been removed, contact your local authorized Viking pump distributor with the model and serial number of the pump to obtain these part kit numbers. The seal kit includes a replacement mechanical seal, head seal, bearings, installation tools, and associated hardware. The repair kit includes a replacement idler and bushing assembly, head and pen assembly, and associated hardware. Take care when opening the kit so as not to cut or damage these repair parts. Drain the pump of any residual liquid. Turning the shaft will help expel any liquid trapped in the gear teeth. Mark the head and casing before disassembly to ensure proper reassembly. Remove the head cap screws. Note that G and GG sizes may require removal of the relief valve to access these cap screws. Remove the head by tilting it backward to prevent the idler from falling off the idler pin. Insert a brass bar or piece of hardwood in the port opening and between the rotor teeth to keep the shaft from turning. Turn the lock nut counterclockwise and remove the lock nut. Loosen the bearing housing set screws and remove the bearing housing by turning it counterclockwise. Remove any snap rings or spacers from the shaft. After removing the brass bar, the rotor shaft assembly can be removed from the pump. A soft-headed hammer may be needed to tap on the end of the shaft for removal. Remove any snap rings or spacers and remove the inner bearing from the casing. Remove the rotating portion of the mechanical seal from the shaft. For bellows seals, this can be accomplished by simply pulling it off. For wedge or o-ring seals, the retaining set screws will need to be removed first. Remove the stationary seal seat from its bore in the back of the casing. If the seat cannot be pulled out by hand, a close-fitting dowel can be used to wiggle it loose. The outer bearing is located in the bearing housing. 
On smaller sizes, it can be accessed by removing an outboard retaining ring. On larger sizes, the end cap in the bearing housing will need to be removed using an Allen wrench and a spanner wrench. Remove and replace this bearing. Inspect the pump parts for wear, especially critical parts such as the idler pin, bushing, gears, and casing. Replace any worn components. It's recommended not to reuse seals, o-rings, or bearings unless you've been instructed to do so by Viking Pump or your authorized Viking Pump distributor. Clean the rotor hub and casing bore. Make sure both are free of dirt or grit. Special care should be taken when handling the mechanical seal. Do not touch the sealing faces and be sure to place them face up on the bench to prevent scratching of these highly polished surfaces. Using the provided lubricant or other compatible seal lube, coat the seal bore and stationary seat OD. Press the seal seat into the bore using only your thumbs, touching only the outermost edge of the seat so as not to scratch the sealing face. A close fitting dowel with a very slight step can also be used. Note that the wedge type seal includes a small anti-rotation pin which must be lined up with its hole prior to pressing in the seal face. Inspect the shaft for any cuts or nicks which may prevent sealing. Using the provided lubricant or other compatible seal lube, coat the shaft and the seal bellows. Slide the seal down the shaft until the spring contacts the back of the rotor. Do not press directly on the seal face and do not compress the spring. For the wedge or o-ring style seals, slide the seal up against the back of the rotor. G and GG size seals of this design may require use of a press to seat the seal hardware around the hub of the back of the rotor. Again, do not push directly on the seal face. Remove the seal clips and tighten the set screws. Slide the rotor shaft assembly into the casing. Reinstall the head and idler gear, ensuring proper location of the pin and crescent. Tighten the head cap screws evenly. Install the inner bearing. Install the bearing retaining ring. Be sure to include the bearing retainer washer first on AS, AK, and AL models. 
No retaining ring is used on these models, but a bearing spacer collar will be installed next. Once all required retaining rings and spacers are installed, reinstall the outer bearing housing. Insert a brass bar or piece of hardwood in the port opening and between the rotor teeth to keep the shaft from turning. Install the lock nut and tighten to the appropriate torque setting using a deep bore socket and torque wrench. Appropriate torque should be as follows. Remove the brass bar. You're now ready to set the end clearance. In this example, we'll be using bearing housing OD measurements as outlined in the technical service manual. While turning the rotor shaft, rotate the thrust bearing assembly clockwise until noticeable drag occurs. This point is known as zero end clearance. Mark the position of the bearing housing with respect to the casing. Make a second mark on the casing left of the first mark at a distance indicated by the technical service manual. Rotate the thrust bearing assembly counterclockwise until the bearing housing mark aligns with the new casing mark. Lock the set screws in place to hold this setting. Your Viking Pump high-speed compact internal gear pump is now fully repaired and ready to put back into service. If you still have any questions regarding this or other Viking Pump products, please contact your local authorized Viking Pump distributor or visit us on the web at vikingpump.com. Thank you.